As for Buster Keaton, all he needed was a special helmet and a little time to enjoy it. The Twilight Zone, only on the Sci-Fi Channel. It was not normal. Not at all normal. <laughs> Seemingly nice people. Even children with bare hands ripping those suckers apart. It's a fun new way to make tacos. Did you see? And it all starts here. Grab an old El Paso taco kit, just layer, scoop them, and eat them. They were excited by it. Scoop your tacos, because hey, it's a brand new old El Paso. Oh, And Gypsy, <laughs> Michael Nelson is Lord of the Dance. Ooh. Did the other one die? Um, no. Anyway, Michael Nelson is Lord of the Dance. Ooh, Three, okay. four. <laughs> oh, um. There's this sink I need to take a look at, so I'll oh. just be... Uh, oh, oh, okay. We'll be right back. Moonlight Matinee is brought to you by the Delta Faucet Company. Delta, the faucet. Polished brass has always had one problem. Until now, Delta introduces brilliance. The extraordinary polished brass finish that's guaranteed to shine for life. Brilliance from Delta, the faucet. Why is America on America Online? It puts the whole internet right at my fingertips. You can send instant messages just like that. The news is breaking. I've got it now. I can stay a little closer to my family. You've got mail. America Online. Easy to use, friendly menus. Put in the disc, click, you're online. And we've been working night and day to more than double capacity and make it even easier. I got homework help, and my dad thinks I'm a genius. America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. You've done the math and figured out that you can consolidate bills and still afford to make some home improvements. But the lenders tell you that you don't have enough equity. Hi, I'm Dan Marino. If this has happened to you, call First Plus Financial at 1-800-510-PLUS. They'll lend you up to 125% of the value of your home, less your first mortgage balance. There's no application fees, and you'll get an answer before you hang up. Don't listen to those other lenders. Call First Plus at 1-800-510-PLUS. There's no doubt about it. Solid antiperspirants are a great way to keep you dry. This leading clear won't keep you quite as dry, but it's clear. To get a better kind of dry, you need the best combination of both. That's New Shore Clear Dry. 
Sure Clear Dry is a whole new kind of antiperspirant with a revolutionary new formula that gives you the outstanding dryness protection of a solid, yet it glides on this clear. We're sure it's a better way to be dry, but draw your own conclusion. New Sure Clear Dry. It's a sure way to be dry. so powerful, it's almost scary. Boo. The muscle car lives. The new Trans Am by Pontiac. This Halloween, he's coming with something they never expected. Cookies! Simply roll out Pillsbury sugar cookies, cut, bake, then create your own deliciously spooky cookies. Welcome to Psychic Talk USA. Have you given any ideas to going into business for yourself? Yes, how did you know that? Yes. She's a psychic! <laughs> Is there someone from your past that you're still thinking about? Yes, someone in the past. I'm shocked. <laughs> no, really, because I mean, I didn't think you guys could see all that. They saw honey deep into your closet. <laughs> uh -oh. He's dependable. He's all those things all those other guys you had weren't. Go get him. This would be a good one for you. This is great. I'm so glad that I called. I feel so much better. We're going to give each and every one of you who calls this number 10 whole minutes of one of the best psychics anywhere. This one's free, folks. So write this number down and just do it. Mm -hmm. Does she have children? One daughter. A gorgeous little girl. Now, is she modeling or you? Because I keep feeling mm -hmm. there's a model in there. Oh, you are so good! Call in now. You won't be put on hold or get a busy signal. Everyone will get to talk to their psychic for a full 10 minutes. This one's free, so don't miss it. Dial right now. Call 1-800-914-3891. Um, Mike, it's over, huh? Hey, Lord of the Pants, can you tear yourself away from yourself for a minute? We got someone calling from the planet. Hello? Ooh. Oh, hello, Mike. I should say I, hello, Mike. Hello, oh, Mike. I don't think so. Hello, Mike. 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 Hey, what the Sam Hill is going on? Where's Mrs. S? Hey, <laughs> do you mind terribly if I explain? Oh, be my guest. You're not in charge. He's not in charge. <laughs> Mike, Pearl is driving those horrid little children home, and Bobo here, who, by the way, is not at all smelly or riddled with infection, oh, yes, yes, yes. simply cannot accept the fact that I am in charge. You are not. I am too. Read the note. What is it? It says while I'm away, the brain guy is in charge. It does not. Give me that note. It's... Oh. Says you're a dodo head. I'm a dodo head of all the unmitigated gall. You're the dodo head. You're the dodo no, you're the dodo, dodo head. head. You're the dodo head. Hey, 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 not that I care, but you guys are going to have to figure out a way to get along until she gets back. Is there something you can do where nobody's in charge? Hmm? Well, she did leave us this list of tasks. Perhaps we could divide those up. Fine. You're not in charge. He's not in charge. Well, a great many of these tasks seem to pertain to you, Bobo. Well, I'm very delicate. Each morning begins with a tick bath for Bobo. Then, while he is still groggy, push worm medicine down his throat. I have worms. <laughs> then mash 65 bananas by hand, cover with honey, and sprinkle with termites. I won't eat them any other way. Then apply a generous portion of ointment to his... Oh, no! Well, you have to! No! <laughs> Mike, I can tolerate this ape no more. I appeal to you as a somewhat higher being. Robin, come down here and... Well, just come down here. Ha! Ah, there you are. Ah. Uh, see, he wants me to apply ointment to his... See? Oh, come on, it's not so bad. There are worse places to apply ointment. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'll tell you what I see. I see here that there are a lot of underlying issues, and I don't think we can move on until we get past those. Uh, uh -huh. Brain guy, why don't you start? Uh, uh, okay, well, it's like ever since I met these two, the whole world revolves around Bobo's hygiene. It's what? Endless supply of, of tick baths and, and flea powderings and swollen things. And you know, Mike, I just, sometimes I get the feeling he doesn't even care about my hygiene. Well, and frankly, his daily cleaning rituals disgust me. Well, at least with me, they get done. What are you implying? I'm implying B.O. B.O.? Uh -huh. That's absurd. I don't even have a body. Now, Brain Guy, I think we have to get past that. Uh -huh. what? 
tell you what, as a gesture, why don't you smell yourself? No! Oh, please, in the interests of peace, smell yourself. Oh, very well. Oh, my God, I do stink. Oh, oh it's so sorry. It's embarrassing. I... See, this is a real breakthrough, and I think it's a beautiful oh. moment. I'll tell you what, why don't you grab your brain and head up to the satellite and watch that movie of yours and think about this moment, thank, all right? Thank you, Mike. It's, it's called Jack Frost, by the way, and it's a Russian Finnish co-production. Of course so I think I will enjoy it I'm immensely. Sure. But thank, thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a stinky brain guy. <laughs> Oh, you do smell, really. Ah, yes. we got oh, movie we got movie side. <laughs> Wait a minute. What am I saying? Nelson, get up here! <laughs> oh, good one, Mike. Yeah, I almost got the brain guy in here. Could eat no frost. Oh, and yes, yes, yes. Names are all Russian for Alan Smithy. <laughs> hey, Tom Petty. It's all right if you love me. Hey, listen, that Spock in really fast motion. Ah, Roseanne. Ah. My East German shop with your daughter has a cold. Hey, come on, old man. Scare yourself. Come on, I want to reproduce again. The mosquitoes are stinging, my darling little mafushka, and can't sleep. Oh, now listen. Mm. Oh, I, I didn't say a word. Great, I'll bet Pippi Longstocking's in this. Mm. Yeah, pretend you're a koala bear and eat these eucalyptus leaves. Mm. Oh, mm. belch. Arsenic sucker, that should do it. Is this a biopic of Holly Hobby? The story of a hundred-year-old couple who give birth to a giant infant. Don't wave Grandma's funk over here, please. I'm a domestic goddess. What are you doing there, Nastka? Just knitting Marfushka's new stocking. Knitting it. Why is the coat rack on fire? You told me to knit some stockings. Be before. quiet. All you novitiates are trouble. I told you to knit, but... I never told you to click your needles like that, did I? Before you know, you'll wait, my little darling. Can't you really hear that through those walls? She ah. certainly can. You work by day like a young mare, so you can sleep by night. Ah. But darling, little Marfushka cannot be a mare. She must not be. She has to rest by day, so by night the slightest noise wakes her. <sighs> mm, Panna cooking? Let's go clean some fish. There's a place where you can knit, Nastka, and you won't wake my darling little Marfushka. The moon is out, there's plenty of light. The noble's on fire, it's great. It's peaceful, and it's nice and cool. Eat it, Grandma. Be quiet. Back into Harpo's chest. You get me so much work. This is a factory where they make beanie babies. Jack Klugman. The must be finished by the time the rooster crows, you hear me? Okay, hey, Mom, thanks. Otherwise, my precious little girl, I will tear your braid off. <laughs> and it's for the many times you beat me. Oh, it's for the other times you beat me. <laughs> oh, their other puppy, he's cute. Yeah. I gotta sneak down to the convenience store and go to the bathroom. You should take that mouse out of her mouth. <laughs> Don't come around here no more. You keep knitting and <laughs> knitting and <laughs> knitting. Ah, Penny Marshall was an adorable child. Hmm. You want a stinking sock? I'll knit your stinking sock. You just stinking sock. Ah, oh, those are fly specks they've been aiming. She's so hideous when she sleeps. <laughs> Mmm, liver on a stick. Danny Bonaducci is Sleeping Beauty. With God as my witness, I'll never go hungry again. So the first plot point involves knitting socks. I think we're in for quite a ride, guys. You bet. <laughs> boy, I say boy. Down, Yabushka. It's Rex, ma'am. Give me a little time, please, 
pretty rooster. Please, I've only got one road in there. Oh, 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 she's mooning us. Have mercy, rosy finger John. Have mercy on me, oh, rising golden sun. And you are? Wait till I'm done knitting these stockings. Otherwise, I'll be punished severely. Stepmother said she would tear off my braid. This is the sun. Your call is very important to us, but due to unusually high call volumes. Well, the world's thrown into chaos, earthquakes, floods, but that's fine. You knit your stock. Rosy-fingered John. Someday you'll return the favor. No, I gotta keep stirring the sauce, deliver these guns to Jimmy, and, uh... I heard my that. darling bird with a golden comb. <laughs> I'm so happy, my pretty one. Thank you, it's done. Yeah, sure. Do you know any foxy hens? You hey. See, I'm finished. You lazy girl, have you finished yet? Look. Don't you did it on time? Why, you wicked little viper, you wicked... Which I'll give you much harder work next time. In the meantime, go feed the chickens, water the cattle, split the wood, and sweep the yard. Oh. You know, Mike, I think I just don't like evil Russo Finnish grandmas. Take this job and shove it. Yabushka. How about a little sugar for the rooster? This is a test of the emergency broadcast chicken. <laughs> oh, Peter must be walking around denying everybody this morning. On the very same morning, of the very same day. Oh, 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 oh! Morning. Morning. Hey, watch it. Well, the chores are done for the day. I think I'll go knock off a bottle of Finlandia. He's got June Allison hair. <laughs> Ivan, my son. Yes, Mama, what is it now? Bring these bags to be recycled. You must take care. Oh, don't worry. You mustn't forget your mother, Ivan. Don't worry. Or me, Terry Quarry. You mustn't harm the weak. Don't worry. Honor those who are old. Don't worry. I'm just going to get a paper. <laughs> and I even made him lunchables. <laughs> we will rob him. We won't rob him. Damn. Hobbits. We'll eat them. We'll eat them. The Ozark Mountain Daredevils we'll plan their them. next album. We'll be beaten. Oh, sorry, that was me. We'll rob them. We won't rob them. We <laughs> will eat them. We won't eat them. Hey, wake we'll up and go to sleep. Them. Oh, 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 wait, today it's clock, clock. Um, uh, I lost the title of three down here. Anyone? This is the early version of Snow White called Snow White and the One Normal Sized Person. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful Moshka Oh, what a beautiful I'm A wandering youth minister. Oh! Get a haircut, hippie. Your capture. The human schnauzer. And now, young man, we're going to rob you. You mean that? Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> rob me? I'll strip if you want me to. Hey, oh, hey, 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 you know, I think I'd rather be hogpiled by actual hogs. <laughs> <laughs> the fastest legs or the strongest arms. But are you ready for a game where all that matters is the speed of your mind and the power of your imagination? We are, and we're waiting around the world to challenge you. The game's Magic the Gathering, and all you need to play is a brain, a deck, and a friend.
complicated twist on a sports sedan. If anyone in the house needs a breath mint, it's you know who. Well, we've got just the thing. Clorox Automatic Toilet Cleaner. It's concentrated Clorox bleach in a tablet. Drop it in the tank. It not only bleaches away stains with every flush, it also deodorizes for extra freshness. So you can say goodbye to bowl breath. Clorox Automatic Toilet Cleaner. It's like a breath mint for you know who. <sighs> You know, lots of folks don't have a word to say in the morning, but not my parquet. It always says butter. Better. Better? Now, parquet, you've always had the taste that says butter. Better. Uh-uh, you little tub. Now, read my lips. Butter. Better. Look at how you melt. Just like butter. Mmm, you really do taste better. Butter. New parquet. Now the flavor says butter. Even better. There is a sweet roll I would love to fix you up with. From Sci-Fi Channel Original Pictures. What would you do to rescue your wife? He was great like a man who has no fear of death. How far would you go if dying was an option? Help me! Last Lives, tonight. They move among us, cursed with an eternal bloodlust. Starting Monday, a kiss is just a kiss. Unless it's the kiss of death. Four nights of undead romance. Bloodlust on the Sci-Fi Channel begins Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Welcome to Psychic Talk USA. Have you given any ideas to going into business for yourself? Yes, Good. how did you know that? Yes. She's a psychic! <laughs> Is there someone from your past that you're still thinking about? Yes, someone in the past. I'm shocked. <laughs> no, really, because I mean, I didn't think you guys could see all that. They saw honey deep into your closet. <laughs> uh -oh. He's dependable. He's all those things all those other guys you had weren't. Go get him. This would be a good one for you. This is great. I'm so glad that I called. I feel so much better. We're going to give each and every one of you who calls this number 10 whole minutes of one of the best psychics anywhere. This one's free, folks. So write this number down and just do it. Does she have children? One daughter. A gorgeous little girl. Now, is she modeling or you? Because I keep feeling mm. there's a modeler. Oh, you are so good! Call in now. You won't be put on hold or get a busy signal. Everyone will get to talk to their psychic for a full 10 minutes. This one's free, so don't miss it. Dial right now. Call 1-800-355-3782. That's the biggest clove I've ever seen. Uh-oh. He's ignoring his mom's advice. Don't throw cudgels in the air. Uh, did somebody drop some steamers over here? I think we've missed the point of juggling. And they're frantically hoping he has a louse comb. He's got Playboys! I'm gonna keep doing this until someone notices me. Finn celebrate the new year by hurling giant beef sticks high into the air. Wow, isn't the bass on those cudgels? You didn't tell us you were mythical. Why don't those clubs come down again. <laughs> Says, wait, my eager little bandit. Hmm? They'll come down next winter. Next winter? That's right. Now quit bouncing and behaving, boy. Next winter, he says. Did you see that, man? That takes muscle, huh? He's strong, all right. That's very right, strong. <laughs> That's... Uh... The guy you told dwarf. How long did our young hero, Ivan, wander over hill and dale? Hmm? Frankly, we have no idea. Who's talking? The fact <laughs> remains that Ivan eventually reached far away and unknown land. And the cudgels came down way earlier the next winter and maimed several children. I have a new church hat. Yeah, I've eaten those and had this happen. Ivanushka. So what does a mushroom eat for hallucinations? I think they lick toads. Ivanushka. My hair is talking to me. No, I always pick that little guy off my pizza. Ivanuchka, try me on a plaza burger. Are you freaking out yet? All right, who's playing hide and seek with me now? Eat all, dare eat all, come bum with you all. You, cute outfit. Yes. Are you a sorcerer, granddaddy? I dabble in sorcery a little, but the truth is that I get bored. 
You get bored. I get bored. You get bored. Come on, play with me. Let's play hide and seek together. <laughs> with you? Play hide and seek? Yes. You're joking. I catch you in no time. Think so? Yes, I think so. If you catch me, I'll give you a well bent bow and some nice straight arrows. Is that a bargain? It's a bargain, Father Mushroom. I thought Jerry Garcia was Father Mushroom. Mm -hmm. Finally, I have a boyfriend. He's gone. I'm Hans. Oh, forget it. I'm gonna go hunt for your cousin Corn Smut instead. You twisted little wood ear. I'm gonna. Blink, 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 blink. Frodo gets drunk and screws with his neighbors. If disappearing elf hide and seek were in the Olympics, Finland would be in great shape. Yeah. I gotta go toss a cudgel. Bella Abzug, the movie that dares to ask the question, will he find the dwarf? <laughs> if I catch you, you're in my omelet so fast. Me. I'd be so mature. You're going down, mushroom boy, you mincing little fungus. Well, you didn't catch me. All right, you win. Good boy, Ivan. Since you admit you lost, I am going to give you the things I promised. Then we shall drink Tanya. Ha, 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 ha. Wow, Dad, it's a daisy. Oh, it's a miracle. Uh huh? Ah, without miracles, where would we be? Oh, you're a real magician. Now start running, shroom. <laughs> wow, it barely worked. Run. Yes? Come back here. Why? You have forgotten the most important thing, Ivan. And what have I forgotten? You forgot to say thank you to a very old man. You should bow your head down to the ground. Those who bow run the risk of losing their head. Ivan? The bear will bow before you if you like, not Ivan. And so be it. So Things be it? Will come to pass as you say. Might get there, huh? It's a comedy movie. will bow before me down to the ground, but it is your back that will bend. We now end our elf broadcast day. Yeah, now he's haunted by other vegetables he didn't eat as a child. <laughs> he's pursued by a demonic little Brussels sprout, mephitic lima bean. <laughs> yeah, that looks like crazy horse. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, movie, we can wait as long as you can. Come on. Heckle and Jekyll in The Ten Commandments. The fish boil recipe. Find a feather in the field and throw it to the wind. If you follow that feather, you will find your destiny. Touch any part of this rock for more information. Great. Still don't know where the men's room is. Am I Kirok? When he takes it to mean he should feather his hair. Spaceship's landing? Hey, Ron, I'm looking at your butt. <laughs> no, I'm in the loons. Kill them. Oh, that's always nice. Good work. It was a good ride. <laughs> Thanks for the feather. You can go back up now. I just read something about feathers. What was that? Now, go find Forrest Gump, stick him in the eye, and kill him! <laughs> There's a feather craft approaching, Captain. Looking for a Duncan Hines cake to slice. <laughs> ah, he's a worthy adversary, that feather is. <laughs> no, my destiny sucks. It's a swamp. Hey, the Petersons put their boat out. Hildegard von Bingham, unplugged. I have terminal enchantment right now. Why can't the 
Durability is crashing in on itself. Oh, oh please, ma'am, my ears are bleeding. <laughs> She's a castrati. It's retaining a lot of water. The minute you walked in the joint bar. I think she's headed for the vodka well. <laughs> That's a girl. I thought I was a girl. Great news, Mike. Through the magic of the hex field view screen, I got an expert to clarify some of the questions raised by today's movie. Oh, really? Great. Yeah, thanks to me digging into your wallet, I was able to raise the money to bring us the distinguished Russian poet, author, and professor... Wushkin Bolzhenitsyn? Yakov Smirnov! <laughs> Mr. Smirnov, thank you for taking time from your busy schedule to answer some of our questions. No problem. Now, Mr. Smirnov, let me cite Joseph Campbell who says that each culture establishes archetypes which embody that particular culture. How does that apply in the film Jack Frost? Well, you see, in your country, you wait in line at bank. In our country, we wait in line for bread. Oh, well, uh, yeah, well, well, how does that relate to the diminishment of Russo-Finnish ties? In your country, the man shaves. In my country, we wish the women would shave. <laughs> well, well, and then naturally that speaks to the uh, p political structure that attempted to s suppress such cultural <laughs> expression, right? right? In your country, you see movies that rock. In our country, we break rock in the gulag. All oh, right, Smirnoff, I want my $25,000 lecture fee back. Twenty-five thousand. Uh, it's okay, Mike. I put it on your credit card. There's In a lot your of room on country. it. Oh, shut up. We'll be right back. You know, you can kiss that cheese tray goodbye, pal. But I have contract. Yeah, you have contract. Oh, I'll tell you what you can do with your contract. So I got off the elevator and said, what is this, the seventh inning stretch? <coughs> uh oh. American Express. Lovely. Let's do the whole country. I'm a little light on the lingo. You're getting a full gander down the front with me. All right. We've got Coolidge Patsy, Bangy the Mash, Papa Sweet, and Lovely Tony Leo. That was a wicked googly. So I took a butcher's up the apples and pears and said, what is this, the tea interval? All over the world, you can do more with the American Express card. I know you like Fresh Step cat litter, but, um, but this one was on sale. So I thought... Just any cat litter just won't do. Fresh Step neutralizes ammonia odor and freshens with every step. So your whole house is fresh. Okay, you win. Fresh Step. Fresher with every step. I'm so glad we talked. I'm Iron Head Hayward. I'm used to challenges. And I challenge you to try Zest Deodorant Body Wash. Now, I hear you snickering. But I ain't had... Aren't body washes for ladies? Ow! Listen, chump, Zest doesn't have heavy moisturizers. But I ain't had. What's with this thingy? <laughs> that lather builder works with Zest body wash to give you twice the fresh smelling lather of this bar. And it rinses cleaner. So you're cleaner, more refreshed, period. Zest body wash. Get cleaner, more refreshed. Get Zest fully clean. Oh, I think the movies are the real world in a way. They're our dreams. There are a number of films that have those moments in them that take you to another time and place emotionally. And you are them. You become those people because you can understand their pain and you can understand their joy. You learn something about a world and a people and maybe, 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 maybe you learn something about yourself. If you like movies, the place for more movies and digital picture and sound is not on cable. It's on U.S. satellite broadcasting. You are watching... The Sci-Fi Channel.
dust bunnies under the chair, dust so thick it's everywhere, you need Static Duster, the cleaning sensation that cuts cleaning time in half. Charge Static Duster on any TV screen. The charge is so powerful, dust and dirt leap onto the wand. Clean, delicate collectibles. Great for louver doors and blinds, grids and grills. Clean the screen under the machine. Great for all your electronics. Static Duster slips into shelves, snakes around corners, dust leaps off plants and soaked flowers. Now order Static Duster for only $14.95. But wait, you get a second Static Duster with extension handle. It stretches to reach moldings and bends for hard-to-reach places. As a bonus, you get the Tiny Duster. The complete kit only $14.95 but we're not through yet. You'll get Stain Ender, the miracle remover that blasts away stains. It's a $20 value, and it's yours free when you order Static Duster. Here's how to order. To order Static Duster for only $14.95 plus shipping, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-595-0044 or send check or money order to the address on your screen. Sorry, no CODs. Yak off. What a ripoff. Yeah. Gonna make some hooch. <laughs> you know, making her empty the river is just busy work. And it runs back down the hill. Um, I don't need to push, but are my socks done yet? How do you do, my pretty little maid? Oh, there's a bull snake on her neck. <laughs> You're the prettiest little thing I've ever seen. Oh, don't be afraid of me. Look at me, my pretty one. Look at me. Look at me all you like. <laughs> Do I look like Simon Le Bon? Am I not worth looking at? I have no time to speak to you. I've got to work. I'm a welder by day and a dancer by night. What are you doing? I'm watering this old stump. How long will you go on watering it? I mean, how dumb are you? I'll water it until flowers start to bloom on it. Flowers? My stepmother told me to. Oh, you must have a very wicked stepmother. Yep, standard issue. Stepmothers and stepmothers. What's your name? What a conniving face. Well, my name is Nastya. Nastya? Mm hmm? Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. That's not what everybody calls me. She looks like a gray. My father calls me Nastinka. Nastinka. It means stump waterer. He says Nastka. Stepmother calls me Viper. And Which is totally bogus. And sometimes Little Witch. Hey. Nastinka. Mm hmm? Darling. Will you marry me? Um, I'm nine. You're in a terrible hurry. Well, I'm not crippled or cross-eyed, am I? Sure. I know you're not. But what am I? I don't think we would ever make a good couple, though. What do you mean? Well, you're a braggart. Mm. I'm not. So you think I'm a braggart? Mm -hmm. I'll have you know I really can do everything. Oh? Yes, I'm a very good plowman. Nobody can outfight me. I'm a good worker, a fisherman, and a dancer, and a hunter. Here, I'll show you. The dancer I buy. Oh. I'll shoot that bear down with only one no, arrow. No, don't, don't do that to him. Come. Come? Well, what if she has... Yabba! 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 Um, I'm piddling. <laughs> ben, Ben, Ben. <laughs> Paul Williams. Last year. With her bucket full of Rogaine. What's the matter? Am I unbearable? Last year. Oh, I'm bare intolerant. <laughs> Ooh, salmon breath. Let me get you some grub. Can you look at your lips and tell me if you're breathing? She's alive. Oh, no. I lost my hat. Damn it, Puck. This time you've gone too far. What did you do to me? What have you done, you win? Mommy. <laughs> I've got to go find a picnic basket. We have to register at Club no, Web. I swear I didn't do anything to you. I curse you. I curse you forever. You win. Hey, you can always get a job as a sports mascot. Tonight on a very special Grizzly Adam. Panikukin. Every time I meet a man, he's either gay or a bear. A tribute to Eurasian milfoil. With Retson. Again, with Retson. <laughs> Retson. The KGB has her under surveillance.
just gross. So gross. I should have married him. I'm getting so old. <laughs> She shouldn't cry. There's always Jerry Lee Lewis or Jerry Seinfeld or Ben Kingsley. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Russo finished co production? Uh, mm, give me some French fried potatoes. Mm. Uh, I kill you with an arrow, and you ruin me with a feather. <laughs> it's funny when you think about it. You know, back when they didn't know about costuming, they actually had to find a half man, half bear. I've got to learn how to ride a tricycle in a hurry. <laughs> Warning, hang food in trees. Hey! Like a bear, you wouldn't have the head of a bear. Forgot to read the fine runes. Oh. Sort of a bloated mouth-breathing bear, but a bear. Uh, Ivan, Ivan, <laughs> with the head of a bear. Yeah, bite me, walkhead. Forgive me, Father Mushroom. Forgive me, please. You see, Ivan, things have come to pass. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. The bear bows his head to the ground, but it's your back that's mm -hmm. Oh, teach me how to be reasonable, and first of all, tell me exactly what I should do so that I may be a man again. All right, listen. Vagabond with the head of a bear. Just look at yourself and ask. Do I crap in the woods? How did you live? You see, you spent all of your time boasting to everybody. You loved yourself. You loved only yourself. You offended everyone else. Heed these words, Wait, Mike. Oh, okay. You hurt her feelings. Huh? I hurt her feelings? Uh, you've never done no. a good thing, Ivan. No. Now, here's my answer. Here's my no. advice to you. Shame. Although I'm wondering whether you can understand of course I understand. I'm a great understander. I'll just go and do a good deed. When I've done a good deed, I'll get my own head back. Ivan! Ivan! You can make a lot of money wrestling. You haven't understood anything. Oh, I didn't know there were that many landmines left in Narnia. Mystery Science Theater 3000 is brought to you by the site that smart women turn to for the best information on health, www.phys.com. There's no doubt about it. Solid antiperspirants are a great way to keep you dry. This leading clear won't keep you quite as dry, but it's clear. To get a better kind of dry, you need the best combination of both. That's new Sure Clear Dry. Sure Clear Dry is a whole new kind of antiperspirant with a revolutionary new formula that gives you the outstanding dryness protection of a solid, yet it glides on this clear. We're sure it's a better way to be dry, but draw your own conclusions. New Sure Clear Dry. It's a sure way to be dry. Hey, when it comes to the weekend, we figure it's time for kicking back. Yeah, right. Now there's a car that helps your supercharged family take leisure to a new extreme. The new supercharged Regal GS. Besides having more standard safety features than any car in its class, Regal also has room for five very supercharged people and all their supercharged toys. The new Regal GS by Buick. Official car of the supercharged family. Here's my idea. I think Best Buy ought to get me in a Rolling Stones concert. Rolling Stones! We're here. I need to know where my seat is. Front row, man. <laughs> seat to the stones now that's a great idea get the rolling stones bridges to babylon at best buy hey dad what are you doing up we live in your mother's stuff pepper <laughs> smart bird again huh what are you taking tom's and i'm back for more you still taking that stuff look dad take a pepsi ac one tiny pill controls acid all night i can get some sleep but next time take one before dinner and you can stop heartburn before it starts before it starts you don't see me suffering do you <laughs> <laughs> guys doing that? Uh, nothing, dear. We were talking about your, your no, peppers. Oh, peppers, yeah. I have some in the fridge. You can sleep heartburn free with Pepsi AC. Connect with Sci-Fi Entertainment Magazine. Acquire. Analyze. The only magazine from the world's only network dedicated to science fiction. Catch up. Clarify. Imagine the future. Redefine your boundaries. Escape into a world of infinite possibilities. Define. 
discover. Discover the secrets of Hollywood's top movie makers. Evaluate. Explore. Meet the creators who turn fantasy into reality. Call 1-800-77-SCI-FI now. Receive. Reveal. Understand the story. Uncover the truth. Acquire the knowledge. One year, nine incredible issues at one low price. Call now to subscribe at 1-800-77-SCI-FI or make the connection on the internet at sci-fi.com. Sci-Fi Entertainment Magazine. The Authority. Ah, but I like it too. Hello. Tell me, what good deed can I do for you? Well, you could stop crapping on our playground, for one. Oh! Wait! Don't run He's out running a really slow quarter horse at this point. Wait! I want to do a good deed for you! Wait! Wait! When animals attack... Now it'll go into slow motion, and you'll hear Barber's adagio for strings as he tears them apart. You know, he falls right on bear plop. Yeah. Um, Ricola, Muslick, Charlie was close. I could feel it. Oh, there's my wallet. As the Easter egg hunt goes into its 48th week, <coughs> friend, good. Ah, the perfect speaker stand, finally. And here's that footstool I've always wanted. Aww, you know? Aww. 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 <laughs> I'll take this back to the lab and see if it's edible or not. Harry, the DNR's coming. Load up the truck and get out of here. <coughs> Icky, boys! Ew! Delayed reaction syndrome. <coughs> Wait, there's a frail on babushkas at Bloomingdale. Please. <laughs> Chernobyl's exploding again. Let's go watch. I could watch the scene play out all day. Well, how not to be seen. So what, are we looking for Waldo here? What? Anthony! Anthony! It's spring spaghetti day here in the Italian north end of the swamp. Good morning, little flowers. Little flowers on the stump. Yeah, you got the money. Oh, uh, just make yourself at home. Every single day I come to see you. Every single day I come to talk to you. I hope that I'm not bothering you. Well, have a seat in the waiting room, and one of our flowers will be with you in a moment. It's all right. It's okay. You win. I'm in love Tell with me, you. little flowers. Is Yvonne still living today? Uh, uh, definitely, yes. I'm yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, don't know. Girl, do you want to take this? I, He's alive? We didn't say that. He must be angry with me, I suppose. I need to check with our flowers on the street. You mean he's not? Hey, look, I'm just asking for a straight answer. Don't bust my chops, man. Now tell me, will we ever meet? Our lawyers have advised us not to comment. Oh, what am I kneeling in? Yes, look for the answer in the algae. From the land of sky blue waters. I mean, where else are you going to do it but in the woods? Charity, dear little sisters, dear little brothers, charity. Dear little sisters, dear little brothers, charity. Give us alms, for without us you could not prove your charity. Oh, great. Shakespeare in the park. Bread. Give to a poor orphan who is homeless, penniless, crippled, and blind. Give to the poor, the blind, and the deaf mute, your cup? not a copper, not... <sighs> well, if that's the case, here's the copper. Now, shut up! Uh, to do a good deed, I suppose that one copper isn't enough. Where are you going? A werewolf! Run for your life! Regain your sight and grow your leg back. A werewolf! A werebear, actually. A werewolf! Oh, like you're such a hunk. What kind of a good deed will I have to do? What kind of bear am I? Oh, yogurt is not a finger food. How sweet. Naska, let's have the braids. Quickly. Beauty consultant, Mrs. Khrushchev. Here. 
Mama, mm -hmm. why not smear her eyebrows? <laughs> why is she putting Bisquick on her face? <laughs> why are you so mean to me, Tanta Ernest Borgnine? <laughs> oh, how lovely you look. <laughs> Mama. Don't let your babies go up to be cowboys. Nasca's braid is nicer than mine is. Yours is worth more. It was bought mm, in the pit. I want you to cut off her braid at the root. What could I drag her by without a braid on her head, I ask? Cut it off. Wait, I know. I'll put a rag over her braid to hide it. All right, then. Hide it. Alfalfa's greatest roll. <laughs> Why should have these caterpillars removed? Oh. Uh, you munch and guzzle, eh? It's much easier than working. Munch and guzzle? What the hell? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now you're dressed for housework. <laughs> and now, my darling, you put the sun. The Burger King birthday crown. <laughs> like a princess, darling. Exactly like a princess, huh? Really? Yeah, I am pretty hot, aren't I? <laughs> 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 a princess. <laughs> a little red. And now a bag over the head completes the look. <laughs> I'm all tired out. I'm sweating to something. It's like having Andrea Dworkin make you over. <laughs> no, not a princess. She's got that healthy clown glow. Oh, no. You are a queen. In that you look like Freddie Mercury. She should just start over from Gene One. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a good deed can I do? Maybe negotiate lasting peace in the Mideast. She's on her way back from her stick distributor. Not a very good canoe. I can't walk another step. Poor Granny. Here, let me help you. Yes, my boy, help me. And it will be a good deed. It will be a good deed. Help me. Boy, I'd be glad to help. I need to do a good, good deed. Boy. I need to very badly. Uh, step off. Where do I get on? On my back. On your back. Hang on. It's light bear transit. You live far from here, Granny? Oh, oh yes, very, very far. Up the mountain, then down again, and up the mountain on the other side. Hey, <laughs> that sounds right very there. good. Well, if you think so, that's fine. But don't get all in a sweat. Here we go. Giddy up, let's go. Let me tell you my... Babe! Oh, <laughs> oh no. Babe. She and I sew the nets all the time, except in the morning, when she gulps down her tea and lights the fire and gets the breakfast. Then she mops the floor, and then when the breakfast is ready, she... I tell you, she's a marvel. She's perfect in every respect. And no dream princess could be. <laughs> and she's available for sale or lease. This matchmaker can certainly talk. I think there was something else we wanted. Yes. We hear you have another daughter. Uh, Good Lord, people say the craziest thing. I am Mama's only daughter. The other one's not my sister. That's all right. We'll have a look at the other one, if you don't mind. Mama. Uh-oh, there's a ripple in the daughter market today. Uh, well, all right. You'll see her since you insist. <laughs> Nastinka. 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 Quick, put the dog in a dress. Nastinka. Come here. Well, thanks for listening. It's just my sleeve got me down. <laughs> Get in there, you little viper. Somebody needs viping. <laughs> now, think a sweetheart of mine, my honey child. <laughs> Come, let these folks look at you. Larry Drake and mm -hmm. Vanessa Redgrave. No, matchmaker, this one won't do at all. She looks like a scarecrow. Now, now, get out there and do something Russo thin. Yes. A uh, little idiot is really horrible looking. Sitting <laughs> image of her father. I, uh, uh, I won't say it. I'll be quiet. Cabbage burp. What? All right. Now start the feast, my dear guest. That's what I've been waiting for. I drink to your health. That's all very well, but my son likes goose giblets. That's his favorite dish. Ah, yes. Oh, Andy, goose giblets. Oh. Nazca? Ah, oh, no. Your lovely daughter should take care of it. It's up to her. That's the custom, you know. Mama. That way, my son and I can see what kind of a bride we're getting. One day I'll be a real boy.
twist on a sports sedan. Not everyone can be a samurai warrior. Not everyone can live by the power of the sword. Not everyone can die with honor. I, for example, make kazoos. I'm Iron Head Hayward. I'm used to challenges. And I challenge you to try zest deodorant body wash. Now, I hear you snickering. But I ain't had orange body washes for lady. Ow. Listen, chump. Zest doesn't have heavy moisturizers. But I ain't had. What's with this thingy? That lather builder works with zest body wash to give you twice the fresh smelling lather of this bar. And it rinses cleaner. So you're cleaner, more refreshed, period. Zest body wash. Get cleaner, more refreshed. Get zest fully clean. Traveling with any baggage? Yeah, here he comes now. Ah! Oh, man. Ah! Hey, what are you looking at? Hey, no peanut jokes. <laughs> I feel so violated. What is so suspicious about candy-coated chocolates who walk and talk? I guess you gotta check out everybody, though. Wow. Great casting job. Excuse me, gorgeous. Is this a snack flight? <laughs> it is now. Ah! Precision engineering. Performance that nails you to your seat. But enough about the high performance computers Dell built for Ford. What can we build yours to do? Call now, and for just $119 a month, you can lease this Dell Dimension XPS with a 266 megahertz Intel Pentium 2 processor featuring MMX technology, 32 megs of SD RAM, a 6.4 gig hard drive with Microsoft Office Small Business Edition, a Trinitron monitor, 24X Max variable CD-ROM, even a 4 meg 3D video card, and 24-hour tech support. The Dell Dimension XPS with a 266 megahertz Intel Pentium 2 processor. Pure performance for just $119 a month. Dell, what can we build yours to do? Well, Tom, I suppose we ought to check in on those two uh, to make sure there's no... problem uh... here, guys. I'm a bear. Oh, I'm so sure. Yep, I'm a bear. That little, uh, you know, that, that mushroom head elf guy, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. He did it. Oh. Huh. And, uh, and where did this happen? Just, you know, around. Shit. <laughs> Some luck, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you just didn't uh, hot glue some fur to yourself. Hey, I wish. Yeah, well, huh, a bear. a bear. Well, we better check in on these two, see how the peace process is going. Bear. <laughs> what a feeb. Girl. Sorry. Mm. Well, thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for laundering your cape. Oh, well, think nothing of it. <laughs> Would you like some mosh banana? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you're sure about that? It's nice and rotten. I don't eat it till the fruit flies come a buzzing. That's good eating. <laughs> I'm sure that it is, but yes. yum. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, what are you up to? Oh, I, I'm leading the entire galactic library of the Venusian Eighth System at once, with, with my mind. Ah, oh, nice. Yes. Are, are there pictures? Ah, uh, several trillion, yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, say, um, <laughs> my toe's feeling better. <laughs> Most of the seepage has dried up. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Do you, uh, do you find that, uh, well, that the lawgiver can be mean sometimes? Well, it's against my culture to gossip. I... Oh, sure, but, but do you? Yes, she can really be a stone-cold witch sometimes. Oh, I know, and she can be so condescending. Oh, precisely. It's like, oh, I'm so great that I don't oh, have Oh, would you look at that? It looks like those two finally found something in common. I help! <laughs> Throw eight half of me and then bury me in the dirt. Mm, not bad. 
Crow, what is wrong with you? Well, I told you, Mike, I'm a bear. Now, now, haven't we talked about this a hundred times, about you taking your bear simulations to the extreme? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. And, and what are you doing? Uh, taking my bear simulation to the extreme. There. Now, do you see a connection? Mm, no. Oh. Okay, well, let me explain. See, when you're a bear, you... Uh, well, oh, wow. we got movie Good sign. Time. I'll explain yeah. later. gonna have to get used to me as a bear. Oh, yeah. shut up, Ray. You're all in a sweat, dear boy. Oh, really hot. And can you see some old tumble-down houses yet? I see them. Well, they're my castle's boys. Bear. Yeah. Yes. Down Come on, hurry, hurry, or you'll get cold. Can't you feel it? That cold mountain mm. wind. Come on, faster, faster. Forget the good deed. Eat her. Here we are. We're home at last. Oh. Yes, at last we're home. And my home is my castle. I'm much obliged to you, my handsome prince. Huh? Most bears don't carry compact. Look, Granny, it's true. are you making fun of me? Of course not. Well, look at me before you call me. No, I, I can't very well do that, my boy. It's been at least... Uh, yes, it's been ten years since I last looked at something. You see, I'm blind. Oh, oh Grandma, I wish I could have gone blind <laughs> oh, for you. Man. Oh, no, how you talk. Father Mushroom no. lied. Who did? And I'll never look at myself <laughs> again. Oh, blame the mirror. <laughs> Invasion of the Matrushka people. What do you say, son? Uh, Let me talk. He likes her very much. Anybody can see she's lovely, such beauty. She's in perfect health, I tell you, all over. She's imprinting on the geese. <laughs> <laughs> and the freelance shame squad is there. Oh, the tom scum is fleeing in terror from her fate. People's distress is funny. Uh, oh, she caught a water moccasin. Well, I guess you got to be Russo Finnish. To... <laughs> <laughs> Look, my dear, maybe you should have tied it tighter. <laughs> Forget my daughter, then. Oh, my sweet little dear. Why? There's no telling what bride a boy will take. And my son's not stupid. He's ready to take a wife, aren't you? Dark. Good. Private pain of Alfred E. Newman. <laughs> he likes her. One of the greatest criminal masterminds of the 20th century. She makes Olivia Hussey look like Selma Ritter. I think that's the one I want. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to starve this winter. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose we should get back to being ugly. <laughs> Let's go frighten small children, shall we? Chewbacca? Hornets don't make honey. I found out the hard way. Oh. <laughs> Mommy, can I go play at Timmy's? Did I have to eat all those campers? Oh. Her stick. Granny's stick. How is she going to be able to walk without it? I don't know, Richard Burton. I've got to take it to her. Very good, Ivan Scott. Very oh, good. Man. Scott Hamilton's interpretation of the three bears. Mushroom guy is starting to piss me off. <laughs> Maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe it's just a vision. Maybe that old magician was only bragging. Mm -hmm. Still, he cast a spell on me. Mm -hmm. That's that feather that brought me here. Maybe I'm crazier than an outhouse rat. And this is where I first met Nastinka. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenoboski. <laughs> well, got a great stick out of the deal. And there's that old stump. And the flowers have really bloomed. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. that wicked old magician's laughing at me, I suppose. I can't shake off his spell. Oh, jeez, I stepped in my own scab. Huh? What? It's a very confusing lesson. But if you speculate about doing good, it's better than actually doing it. Apparently. There's only one thing I still have to do. Join the band Nelson. Farewell, Dasty. Salmon. Hey! 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 Well, that's...
that's taken care of. Now, what are you going to do about the fact that you're finished? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> the weeks have passed. The winter winds have begun to blow. The old man takes his daughter into the heart of the forest. Mm -hmm. Not that he wants to do this at all. It was the cantankerous old woman's idea. Yeah. She had insisted for so yeah, long, just... mad for yeah. so long, uh, that yeah. the poor old man finally yielded to her will. Thanks, Dad. I keep trying to get Mapushka married. But everybody looks at that little viper, Natsuka. Take her far into the forest and lose her. I never want to see her again. Do you have to play that tape, Dad? It's a little hard on my self-esteem. Still, traffic was light, and they made good time. <laughs> well, I hope they invent the wheel soon. Just hear those sleigh bells ring a ring 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 No. My old woman can go right ahead and kill me if she wants. Here. I'm not going to do this. Not to you, my daughter. Mm -hmm. I won't leave you in the woods. Oh, Zornica. Oh. Come on, boy, we're going back. Oh. You sure this is convenient for you, Dad? <laughs> oh, Zornica. I don't care if she waves the poker at me. Or the pitchfork. Let her raise. I'm not afraid anymore. No, my darling daughter, I'm not afraid anymore. Uh -huh. I'll tell her what I think. You'll see. Oh, Zonica, oh! He has the spine of a tube worm. She's going to make my poor daddy so miserable. Mm -hmm. She's driving mad. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, daddy. Still, it was good for him to get out of the basement for a while. <laughs> Remember your daughter who loved you. Val Kilmer is Prince Valiant. I need a haircut! <laughs> Wolves are just laughing out loud. They got the B squad in to eat this guy. Fresh is better, get mantles fresh and full of life. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Goddamn potholes! is not a real blonde. Ooh, Mama, what's the matter with you? That's enough. I'm not putting up with this anymore. Now it's my turn to get down in the basement. Oh, I won't say it. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Marfushka, go on into the house. You'll get cold down. Sure. <laughs> you better watch out. <laughs> Well, I showed her. I read her the riot act, all right. Yep. Nothing can go on. Hey, I got more than you, and I've been neutered. Don't touch me, you coward. There's no doubt about it. Solid antiperspirants are a great way to keep you dry. This leading clear won't keep you quite as dry, but it's clear. To get a better kind of dry, you need the best combination of both. That's new Shore Clear Dry. Sure Clear Dry is a whole new kind of antiperspirant with a revolutionary new formula that gives you the outstanding dryness protection of a solid, yet it glides on this clear. We're sure it's a better way to be dry, but draw your own conclusions. New Sure Clear Dry. It's a sure way to be dry. Nobody can say no to Honey Nut Cheerios. Nobody can say no to the Honey Nut O. In Honey Nut Cheerios. Toasted, tasty, nutty honey. That's the reason. It's real golden honey that makes every oh so irresistibly good. Nobody can say no to the Honey Nut O and Honey Nut Cheerios. Nobody can say no to the Honey Nut O and Honey Nut Cheerios. There are 11,000 people in Marysville, California. Each year they're exposed to some 300 germs. Which means they have over 3 million chances to catch a cold. And you wonder why we offer 24-hour pharmacy service. <laughs> Walgreens, the Pharmacy America Trusts. For the nearest 24-hour location, call 1-800-WALGREENS. Oh, the 
evidence that man is a spirit is complete and utter nonsense. Man is an animal! People who want you to believe that should live in the zoo. Find out who you really are in Scientology, A New Slant on Life by L. Ron Hubbard. It'll open your eyes, and you're going to like what you see. Get yours wherever paperbacks are sold. Your emotions, your personality, they're just chemical reactions. Man is nothing more than a brain. A brain! Forget the phony brain theories. Find out who you really are in Scientology, A New Slant on Life by L. Ron Hubbard. It'll open your eyes, and you're going to like what you see, wherever paperbacks are sold. Someone's pickling something. Hey, not a bear anymore. Mushroom guy turned me back. Yeah. Really? You didn't just peel it off? No. Okay. Hmm? Wow. Old little cabin. Turn your back to the forest and turn your face to me. Big Bird got developed. This guy's actually Jamaican. Al Lewis, survivalist. Uh, <laughs> what do you want? She's 800 years young. Ah, Eva, why did you come here? You were not invited. Now you turned my house around and awakened me out of a sound. <laughs> The house had its back to you. Whatever made you turn it around? Oh, don't be angry, Hunchback Fairy. Don't be angry. <laughs> help me to find Nastinka. I must save her, please. She needs help badly. Uh, don't expect any help from me, Ivan. I won't give you the slightest help. Oh, Chuckles is over here. Go. Now, my little house. About face. Turn your back to Ivan and face the woods again. Well, it's Bill Gates' house. It's voice controlled. Turn your back to the woods and face me. Face the woods. Turn your back to me, man. Face me with your back to the woods. Face the woods. Turn your back to me, man. Come to Knott's Berry Farm and ride the unstable house. <laughs> you, pull again. I don't care how hard you try. I'm going to have the upper hand. Face me. Face the woods. Oh, no. No, no leg kick, please. Face the woods. Face me! Face the one! Face me! Face the one! All right, come up for a beer. All right. You see, you won't always have the upper hand. Your strength is only earthly strength. In the end, it won't help. I can always use witchcraft. Well, yeah. yeah, so. Don't you do that. You give up yet, my young man. Oh, his performance is so wooden. <laughs> Quick, give him Dutch elm disease. Uh, this is an earth first fantasy. Take that logging industry. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I've heard that tree gang violence is increasing. <laughs> don't you? Oh, they got him in a hody ring. Well, the miracle grow worked too well. Yeah. In you pixies go through the door, through the window. Oh, self-delivering lumber. I just hate it when the trees just come in. If I had a tree, I'd keep it in the yard. Hey, right this way, little pig. Uh, you'll make a fine roast of my supper. Uh-oh, roasted nuts. Oh, boy. You can't win. Struggle, Yvonne. Go on, fight back all you like. Nothing's going to stop me. You're my supper. Look, hunchback fairy, I'm sorry. Are you afraid? Well, I've never been pushed into an oven. It's the first time I've sat on a shovel. The flat part, anyway. <laughs> Please show me how to sit on a shovel. I don't know how. Hello, Mrs. Non-Gorilla. Take the handle. All right. What's the world coming to the youth of today wasn't taught anything. You see, you don't have to be a wizard to do that stupid... I hope it's warm enough for you. Ah! Oh, I'm Oh, I'm roasting! Ah! Get out of here, I'll turn you all into kindling. Go on, get out. Now run for your lives. Let up, it's our only hope. Oh, I forgot to preheat the oven. Sorry. I'm kindling. 
here. And just, just Tell me, Beth. Never hurt anybody. Oh. And now tell me, where is she? Tell me where I can find Nastinka. Oh, oh, my God. Him. Tell me how I can save Nastinka. No, save her, save her. All right, you old witch, in you go again. No. Robert Maplethorpe, Streganona. You cook a little longer. No, Elon, no. What? Uh, I mean, when? At uh, whom? Uh, I'm sorry, who? <laughs> Later, in Tingly Wingly Pixie Wixie Land. Hey, Jack Frost, finally. Want to translate, Tom? It's colder than a bucket of penguin poop. It's colder than a polar bear's butt. The dogs are sticking to the fire hydrant. Bye-bye. <laughs> that means bye-bye. Thank you. What do you want, Frost? <laughs> hey, he can make the film reverse. We will bury you. <laughs> I do frost and I do it well. This is not a film about Jack Absent. <laughs> Eat lead, spring. Frosted lucky trees, they're magically delicious. So he bought a flocking gun. Big deal. Uh -huh. Jack Frost opened fire on a stand of willows today. I don't really need. Um, it's going to ruin my buds. Oh, I'm dead. You know, I'm from Wisconsin. I've seen plenty of this. Can we move on? <laughs> Smilla's sense of crap. <laughs> Although the director left us somewhat ambiguous, I'm getting the idea that he's frosting trees. Could be. Oh, no, don't frost her, you big... I pray for the death of Jack Frost. <laughs> well, you work for Summer, don't you? Don't you? Where did this little marvel come from? Little girl, where were you until now? Back off, Frost. I? At home. At home? Uh -huh. Tell me, don't you feel cold? Oh, hmm? I feel warm enough, Grandfather Frost. You're warm. I'm Look, I, I've got me. My muffins! <laughs> oh, oh, <coughs> oh, oh, God, my heart. Even now, are you warm, grateful creature? I'm warm, Grandfather Frost. Ah. I am warm, Grandfather Look, am I going to have to call the cops? You're a very good girl. Not the contradicting kind. Yes, I am. Here you are, my little marble. Here's my cloak. It smells like dried and sure. Oh, how about you, then? You'll be cold. Me? Cold? Why, I'm made of fleshy pencilate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat it. Oh. Wow, bottom line, don't mess with Jack Frost. Don't bother my sweet. It won't do any good. It's dead, dead! My magic scepter lies the power that spreads the frost. You have no pity. You're cruel. Oh, I am not at all without pity. I am not cruel. I do pity this poor little frozen bird. But any living creature who touches my magic scepter will never wake up again. Admittedly, it's a design flaw, but... What's the matter, my sweet? Goodbye, Grandfather Frost. What's wrong, pretty one? Oh, oh, my sleigh! Quickly, quickly, my ice sleigh! Oh, whoa! Why is that the wind? Oh, I think you got an engine fire. <laughs> <laughs> Making that sound. The new 1976 Chevy sleigh. Don't lose heart. Don't lose hope, my sweet. You won't freeze. No, I'll take the bus, thanks. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Don't worry. You see, they'll be dancing at your wedding, yeah? Huh? <laughs> 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 oh, I just gotta get some jumper cables and recharge my scepter! <laughs> Wait till I open her up on the freeway. Do you have any good tapes, Jack? Hey, I'm stuck in a snowbank! Hello! Yep. Magic sleigh. <laughs> Feeling warmer, my sweet? 
Hey, can we put the top up, though? He stole my purse! Mystery Science Theater 3000 is brought to you by the site that smart women turn to for the best information on health, www.fizz.com. I'm Iron Head Hayward. I'm used to challenges, and I challenge you to try Zest Deodorant Body Wash. Now, I hear you snickering. But I ain't had aren't body washes for ladies. Ow. Listen, chump, Zest doesn't have heavy moisturizers. But I ain't had. What's with this thingy? <laughs> that lather builder works with Zest Body Wash to give you twice the fresh smelling lather of this bar. And it rinses cleaner, so you're cleaner, more refreshed, period. Zest Body Wash. Get cleaner, more refreshed. Get Zest fully clean. just this much Castrol Syntec. We then ran it over 100 miles per hour and waited and waited. You see, Syntec has a unique molecular structure that bonds to engine parts. And if a little Syntec can protect under these conditions, imagine what a full oil change can do. Castrol Syntec protects in ways other oils can. And for your toughest cleaning tasks, try any Castrol Super Clean product. Life on land is dry. So pack your bags, because your mouth is going on vacation. Book your shrimp adventure. Pride, scampi, and the destination of your choice for $9.99. Right now at Red Lobster, because life on land is dry. From Sci-Fi Channel over to your pictures. It's you and me, forever and ever. What would you do to rescue your wife? Why do you take Adrian? He believes her to be his destiny. What would it take to drive you to danger? Willing to kill for her. How far would you go if dying was an option? He's a dangerous man. He must fight like a man who has no fear of death. See Thomas Howell, Judge Reinhold. Help me! Last Lives, a Sci-Fi Channel original movie. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. Not him cut and love. It doesn't mean a thing. This is what happens when you don't cook your wits thoroughly. Oh. Yes, nothing but a joke. Uh, yeah, Kate says a sheepskin cloak. Don't mind the dandruff. <gasps> Careful, boy. You must mind your health, young man. Hmm. You might catch cold. It's nice to see they've gotten past the oven incident. Listen, now, I am. Dr. Quinton. Oh, is there is fire. Oink, ma'am. Oh, it skims by itself to blow. It skims by itself over the snow. Over the snow, it skims by itself toward the place where Nat Tinker now lies. Oh, she left it in drive. Look out for my sheepskin coat. It's almost new. Don't forget to give it back to me. <laughs> give it back to me. That's great. <laughs> Suey, um, pig suey. <laughs> ah, I wouldn't trade being a witch for anything. <laughs> well, better get ready. The trees are coming over for the game later. Oh, Miami Steve Van Zandt did not age well. How oh, weary I am. So weary, so weary. Shake that moneymaker. Oh, aching bones are very weary. My aching bones are very weary. <laughs> Oh, I hate all over. I'm so well, back to the daycare. Okay, pull your sleigh over, Frost. Let's see your license. Can't drive 55. Wait till he finds out I blew up the grid. <laughs> Let's just swing into this IHOP for a short stack. 
Yes, every culture's mythology features the young hero chasing a pig sleigh. <laughs> Here at ski testing grounds. Oh, I feel so ill, so ill, so ill. I, I, I've got to She's a maniac, maniac. Oh, it's Just calm down and give me my fancy feet. Oh, oh, I can't sleep or eat. I feel low. I can't rest. I feel low. Oh, oh, oh and an insolent wolf began to insult the old hunchback spirit. Look, shut up. Get it together. What is your problem? Well, I wanted to eat that young idiot. And instead of that, I almost let myself get eaten up. Silly witch that I was. No, no, you're a good witch. You have to believe that. How do you like my website? Oh. Hello, Kitty oh. Bee, my dear. Really, really kitty. don't. Oh, Girl. you oh, wait, kitty with a velvet paw. Little kitty with a jet black coat. Actually, I'm back oh, mahogany. Kitty with a silken fur. Yeah. You've oh. got to help me, little kitty. Run, skip, and fly over the snow. Go find Yvonne's darling and cause her death. Go. Yeah, yeah right. I'm going to go lick myself. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do with this movie, just scamper away from it. And now we shall laugh, wait and see. <laughs> How are ya? <laughs> <laughs> when am I gonna pass this witch? <laughs> Finish house pop hay. Oh, good. Haha, -ha, eat my slush. Well, Mike, I guess this is just a magical land. I hate magical land. Me too. We now switch you live to pig cam. I'm bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon. Mm, bacon, I'm bacon. Okay, just idle down around this tree and... Uh... That just isn't right. I'm a cat. I should be laying out hairy pukes on a new carpet and ignoring my owners. Not this. Hey, Puff, how'd your spaying go yesterday? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Queen Frostine's house. Let's try this. Ow, I slipped on your steps. I'm gonna sue. Ow. Don't you worry now, little girl. Everything will be all right. Me. Never going to forget you. <laughs> well, Stoli? I'm going out now. Take a look around and see how the birch trees and pines are doing. I must see to it that all is in order. Or they dock my pay. And you'll be the mistress of the house. <laughs> so I guess instead of vacuuming this floor, you Zamboni it. <laughs> you'll take care of the house. I'll come back very soon. The guy spends a lot of time cutting out paper snowflakes, huh? Was this true love or just a kidnapping? Bob Keeshan is Mr. Natural. <laughs> Aha, my plan worked perfectly. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. You ordered a hairball, ma'am? She's in trouble, I feel it. Get down that basement, old man. Where do you think you're going? Come back, go right back into the house. Yes. They're so in need of a family therapist. I'm not a chew toy. I'm the old man of the house. Tramp's on the loose, and he's got a gun. I've never been in such heat. He's chasing an Italian minstrel. <laughs> the Incredible Journey, the one-man show. I need to go out. Oh, wait. Shut up. Ah, please, I don't want human hair on my fur. I'm allergic. Put my food on a crystal plate or I'll whiz on your sock. Where are you going, Kitty? Litter box. Oh, my score. I thought it was going to take weeks to do that. Whoever touches my scepter will never wake up again. Yeah, well, maybe it should be stored a little more safely. At least a Mr. Yuck sticker. Oh, where the hell did I park? <laughs> that winter snow. So the premise of this movie is that everyone is just nuttier than all get out. Huh? Oh, Deutschland, Deutschland, Uber all is. 
and the fur green and proud. The gales of winter blow and sing. And rip the skin off your face. To spring. <laughs> oh, oh, this will not do. It simply will not do. Quickly, quickly, we must sprinkle you with frost. What will it do? Oh, you're such an idiot, you dunce, you nitwit, you donkey. You left your scepter in the house. Uh, without it, you can't be the I same. enjoy watching people's mental illness. <laughs> you moron, you're a worthless piece of crap, like something I scrape off my shoe. Bubba, the boy, here comes Jack Frost. You're an idiot. Clear out the bathroom. Who, uh, who lives in this house? Cool. Who will open the door? So he lives in a sort of Christian pagan funhouse, huh? <laughs> Nothing. Come back already. Oh, great, the toilet backed up. Well, sorry, Professor Smirnoff was such a disappointment before, guys. Uh -huh. But you'll be happy to hear I've hired a more solid expert on Russia at great personal expense. Well, expense to you, Mike. I maxed out your credit cards. What? Chloe, and I'll also need your assistance my... with his easel. Oh, my Let's just do it. Now, what film delved deeper into the former Soviet Union's relationship with the U.S. than Sylvester Stallone's Rocky IV? wherein he fights a Russian Superman. Well, I can think of a lot of films. And what it... better embodies the spirit of Rocky IV than the rousing rock anthem, Eye of the Tiger, from Rocky III? What? Huh? And who knows that song better than a key member of the band Survivor, which recorded it? I'm talking, of course, about... Their lead singer and songwriter. Their drummer, who, who technically didn't join the group till seven years after Eye of the Tiger. Uh. But who better to speak for this drummer than... His wife. His manager. His great aunt, Gladys Fletcher. Of course. Who uh, sadly passed away three years ago. Uh -huh. But her old friend Eunice Torgerson... Is here, and we're going to talk to her And now. I have been playing phone tag all day. Uh -huh. So in her place, I've contacted her estranged half-brother, Earl Torgerson, a Earl. butcher in Sanford, Maine, who uh -huh. specializes in handmade old-world sausages. Sausages. And Russia, of course. Of course. <laughs> we now go live to Mr. Torgerson. Uh, Professor Torgerson, where does our movie Jack Frost fit in vis-a-vis -vis the mythopoetic dimensions of later Russian literature? Uh, Mr. Torgerson, a slightly bad connection, sir. You may have to speak up a bit louder. Oh, Torgerson's mate. Ah, I see. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. And do you see themes in this yeah. film, or indeed any oh, yeah. other traditional Russian folklore, yeah. which prepare us for the tumultuous yeah. Russian politics yeah. of modern times? Got it, Mrs. Cronky. Uh, uh -huh. Two pounds of brown uh -huh. worth, one cheddar worth, sir. three of blood sausage. Fascinating. Great. Great. Well, okay, well, well, thank you for your Bye -bye. time. Thank you. Yeah, boy, Hi. food for thought, huh? Yeah. Wow, Russia. Definitely worth all that money. Well, Mike's money. I... Get in! Ah! Ah! We'll be right back. Adorable counting and memory skills game. You take a cookie and dunk it. If the cow moves, you found milk. And you get the cookie. When the cowbell rings, how'd you do that? Everybody hides their cookie. So you gotta remember who has the most. Because you get to switch. Excellent incentive for a child's memory development. Milk and cookie! The Parker Brothers! Woo. <laughs> if you ever end up in some Ben Hur movie, in your Pontiac Sunfire GT. With its powerful twin cam engine, well, you'll be glad you have a quick handling sports suspension. And of course, 150 horses. The Pontiac Sunfire GT. Finally, a real set of wheels you can really afford. And hey, watch for Hard Rock Live, presented by Pontiac Sunfire, only on VH1. I'm the best bleach. I'm the best bleach. I get rid of tough stains. I get rid of tough stains. I get rid of dingy gray film. I get rid of dingy gray film, too. I brighten. So do I. And I work on colors. Say, how do you do that? Clorox 2 Color Safe Bleach does what Clorox bleach does on whites, but it's buffered to do it safely on colors. Every color? Red, blue, green. Clorox 2 Color Safe Bleach. The Clorox bleach for colors. Stop the torture and frustration of ordinary hair removal. Introducing Total Perfection, your personal home electrolysis kit that permanently removes unwanted hair forever, gently and safely. Shaving just removes the top of the hair shaft. 
chemical hair removers dissolve the hair above the skin surface, but it always grows back. Plucking and waxing yanks out the hair painfully, leaving the root. Total Perfection automatically locates the hair root and sends a gentle current pulsing through. Total Perfection can be used just about anywhere. The Total Perfection Home Electrolysis Kit is yours for only $29.95. And if you call now, we'll also include this hands-free makeup mirror with regular and magnifying surfaces. Now you don't have to spend $100 or more for a quality in-home device. Put a stop to embarrassing unsightly hair now. Order Total Perfection for only $29.95. To order Total Perfection, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-916-8686. Sorry, no CODs. Apparently there's no finished word for subtle. I'm the mama. Love is a battlefield. You're going to get your award. The best award there is. A half-rotted anchovy. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're a good kitty. Yeah, something nice, kitty. A bowl of cream for kitty. For them lactose intolerant. You've earned it. Not my little black imp. Oh, which one of them is doing that? I don't know. Oh, uh, hello, Arnold. And here's something for you, too. Here, deviled ham just for you. You've earned it, you little pink devil. Deviled ham, that's sick. Well, I can't believe you're making me eat this. <laughs> the new Ace of Base record is out. Bad dog, stop it. Don't do that to my leg. Stop it. Give me the damn snossage, man. I know it's in your pocket. I don't want to go to church, Fido. I'm agnostic. It's the Crystal Cathedral North. <laughs> Greetings, Ivan. Killed your girlfriend. Coffee? Oh, you don't stop. <laughs> Greetings, Grandfather Frost. Have you come for nothing? For nothing. Or are you here about the 87 Buick? Let me take you around back, show you the new lawn boy. Oh, a couple more snowmobiles ate it last night. <laughs> no one's fed me in about four days. Well, it's a Fanta Suites room. Look, she was already frozen when I got here. It ain't my fault, man. Nastic. It's a positive ID, then. She's asleep. Oh, am I that transparent? <laughs> so, Frost, you killed her. That's the long and short of it. <laughs> huh? Now, by day. Ivanushka. She sleeps day and night. She's really lazy. I'm out of wiper fluid. I hurt your feelings, Nastika. Won't you please forgive me? And my aha hairdo? Please. Take on me. Take me on. Ah, she's done. So she sleeps forever only in a relative sense. Yes. Jeez, that's the first time I've relaxed in weeks. Leave me alone. Oh, it's you. I'll be gone. It's okay. Ivanushka. Well, now I can call that Debbie girl. Oh, oh, hi, honey. <laughs> what the hell? It's supposed to keep her sleeping forever. Now, well, where's that bird? Just running around free outside somewhere? It took years of intense training to get the dog to walk like that. Ivanushka. You want to start the cardigan? How nice you are. Am I really? I like you better. My darling little Nastinka. You're right, you know. I used to be selfish. Now I do good deeds from morning till night. Yeah, see what a good man I've become. Oh, there's something on your cheek. Is it? It's fur, a spot of brown hair like bear fur, I think. Huh? I uh, know, that's just a big zit. Oh, I was only joking, Ivanushka. Nasty. Yeah, well, well, you're still frozen, okay? Mmm, my famous Yankee bean soup. Ah. Ah. Ah, they're swimming in my chili, the little creeps. There's a blow-up image. Oh, evil sit bath, soothe me. Oh. Oh. Get out of my sight! Right now! Out of sight! Get out! Ah. Oh. 
ma'am. What can we do, old owl? Uh, what? What? Ah! Uh, let's try it. We might succeed. Martina Navratilova's childhood was not a happy one. She's become one of those heroin chic magazine models. Mm. It's good to see Anthony Michael Hall working again. Martin Balsam is Trotsky. The other old women have stupid old men at home, too. But you're the limit. Yes, dear. Why did you have to drag your daughter into yes, the yes, forest? Yes, dear. To amuse Grandfather yes. Frost? To yes, feed dear. packs of hungry wolves? I love you, dear. Well, you, you, you. I won't yes. say it. I'll be quiet. I can't help it. I miss Nastka. I remember how I used to tag that big braid of hers. What a grand feeling. Well, they don't pull a thing anymore now that Nastka's gone. You're almost bald, and if I pulled your beard, it would come right off you. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this Finn's life. Shut your cringle hole! A classic case of Munchausen by proxy syndrome. <laughs> Look, it's all your fault. I hit my darling daughter on her rosy cheek. I'd never have done it if not I'd been here. Look who's here! Thank you, anonymous voice. Just hear those sleigh bells ring, 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 ching, ching, ring, ring. Carson Brown, the Russian tour. <laughs> yeah, it's the three horses of the apocalypse. The fourth dropped out because he had too many after-school activities. It's Santa Claus Jr. Hi, behold a pale horse. Almost like Carol O'Connor in drag. Ah, the yuppies are back. Guess they got one of them quickie Icelandic marriages. Mom, I married a beef eater. And the vicious cycle of a dish to pass continues. We spit on your doorstep. Please, please. Please take me with you, please, please. I'd like you to meet. Uh, what's your name again? Ivanushka, my fiance. I can't look at them, honey. They're horrible. <laughs> Father, listen to me. I will explain everything. Yeah. Grandfather Frost found me in the forest. First, he took me with him to his dwelling. Then he kind of killed me. He arranged a betrothal with Ivanushka. Hmm. And then he gave me this dowry. Gummy bears! And the bridegroom handsome. And Nastinka looks just like a princess. No, like a queen. And Mafushka looks like a big sack of potatoes, <laughs> rotten potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Get out of here! Oh, a hockey game breaks out. All of you, get out! Uh, we'll stay at a hotel. Please don't get excited. Get out of here, all of you. I want a fiance. I want precious stones. I want stones. So according to Mark Fushka's wishes and the old woman's orders, the old man no. took Mark Fushka into the heart of the forest and left her beneath a tall pine tree. Where she drank herself into oblivion. The end. <laughs> What's on the spit? Aww. You cook a mighty fine rabbit, pilgrim. <laughs> a weird place for a tailgate party. It's Mrs. Creosote. <laughs> Look how my love, Coco Lopez, neat. <laughs> and the month's rations are gone in an hour. <laughs> Tip O'Neill after the retirement. Nom, Vidalia's. Mmm, peat moss, yum. Tell me, are you warm, little one? Dun, dun, dun. Ah, uh, warm. Warm, he says. Can't you see my hands and feet are frozen? But it's nearly ten degrees out. It's sweltering. Who is this freak of nature? <laughs> my popovers. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Solid antiperspirants are a great way to keep you dry. This leading clear won't keep you quite as dry, but it's clear. To get a better kind of dry, you need the best combination of both. That's new Sure Clear Dry. Sure Clear Dry is a whole new kind of antiperspirant with a revolutionary new formula that gives you the outstanding dryness protection of a solid, yet it glides on this clear. We're sure it's a better way to be dry, but draw your own conclusion. New Sure Clear Dry. It's a sure way to be dry. Oh, I think the movies are the real world in a way. That there are dreams. There are a number of films that have those moments in them that take you to another time and place emotionally. And you are them. 
you become those people because you can understand their pain or you can understand their joy. You learn something about a world and a people, and it maybe, 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 maybe you learn something about yourself. If you like movies, the place for more movies and digital picture and sound is not on cable. It's on U.S. satellite broadcasting. Nothing's tougher on a motor oil than drag racing. The extreme stress and searing heat generated by their hard driving can break down an oil in no time. That's why John Force uses Castrol, the only leading 10W30 that provides maximum protection against both viscosity and thermal breakdown. Because some people have more important things to worry about. Castrol GTX. Drive hard. And try Castrol Syntec Blend for added synthetic protection. They move among us, cursed with an eternal bloodlust. Starting Monday, a kiss is just a kiss, unless it's the kiss of death. Four nights of undead romance. Bloodlust on the Sci-Fi Channel begins Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. You're breaking my heart because you're leaving. You've fallen for somebody new. Once more, let me ask, are you warm, little girl? You're right, pal. You're dead, man. You just got yourself a big sled load of whoop-ass, Frost. Bring on my fiancé. And my dowry, too. A real big dowry. I'm make it quick. You stuttering, frosted freak. Uh, uh, Do you understand? It's, it's, it's a convention of Michael Palin imitators. Leave on Helm. Yeah, tell me about it. Holy shit! What's the other thing? They're singing about controlling their nose hair. <laughs> Sadly, this is Chet Baker's last role. It's a seven dwarf. Filthy, rotting, lousy, skanky, scabby, septic, and doc. You know, it's so true what they say, though. Original soundtrack on Polygram Records. Silence. To your stations. We have stations? We're going to rock, and we're going to rock. Here they come. Wow, those winged monkeys now use jetpacks. Cool. Woo, woo. Too much air traffic. I got to go around. Uh -huh. Grandmother has come to see us. And she is hot. Hello, hello. <laughs> Here she is. She hasn't bit the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. I got feeling. Woodland giant. Little bandit. Darling bandit. <laughs> Would you please help me? I reward you all. With what? With two tubs of gold nuggets ah. and six pairs of sterling ah. silver ingots ah. and a couple of copper drops. Ah. And, out, and all for easy work. Ah. Oh. Give us to us. Yeah. And foot massages for everything. Another <laughs> coin. Oh, my God, these are her teeth. Catch it, all of them. Copper's good enough for them. You will get gold. Oh, not so fast. Do the work. Ah, don't you trust us? Oh, don't you trust me? Trust you? Watch me break them. Quiet now. Listen, listen. Here comes the king. Here comes the big number one. There's a king. He's second to me. Say, her. have you ever noticed how none of us ever win this race? You know, Phil, I don't even mind that, but I'd just like to see a horse of another color just once. Every time I tell myself I'm not going to turn left when he pulls that rope, and then I just go and do it again. Wow, fast. I hope he remembers to pump the brakes in the snow. Um, so, honey, do we have a house, or are we just going to drive around all the time? Big Trees, the new IMAX movie. No, no, really, it's true. I heard it right from my own mouth. Oh. <laughs> I got lost about 30 miles back, honey. <laughs> hey, 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 honey, hey. you're going too fast. What, honey, there's a mogul. Watch it, honey. Honey. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to hit this raccoon. <laughs> Metaphorically, I think the suggestion that marriage is a dizzying, mad, existential ride to nowhere. Or that niceness is fun. Yeah, it's termites. Yeah. All right. You scoundrels, listen to what I'm asking you to do. It's Ooh, very get simple. Get away. Get... Soon a boy and a girl are going to come by. Ivan, the widow's son, and Ivan's fiance. 
You must touch them, tie them up, and then torture them. Understand? I don't understand. Man, you're Satan! Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> don't look at my dress. Aren't these ambushes phony? False alarm, it's only Bjork. Where dwarves dare. Surprise! Happy birthday. A wildcat strike broke out in the Keebler cookie mines today. Take that, Hamburglar! Russia's first ever pantsing begins. Piling on, 15 yard penalty. That's how we do a job. <laughs> All right, Granny. Where's the gold? Yes, right away. I have it here. Under the spare goiter. <laughs> that means he likes her. <laughs> <laughs> The flying batch. Now let's leave on. Oh, now I think I will learn to sit on a shovel. That's her answer to everything. Come on, man. Get Sven Nyquist. It's... Oh, never mind. Symbol Fist, the new action hero. Well, I just know someone's gonna end up in the wood chipper. You yeah. coward! She's a sweet girl, but you got to admit she's also kind of a jinx. <laughs> Don't you think if you were magic, you'd order up some better clothes? <laughs> I move. I'm a witch and I can't move without it. Well, you should have diversified more. I never liked you. I'm going to make this tighter. Mm, I thought I was Dale. <laughs> Jackie Chan is Ivanushka. Bam, could you wiggle just a little bit? Oh, yeah, ah. it's rain and cinematic chaos. These yeah. are our own clubs coming down. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? <laughs> the audience is listening. Don't, 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 don't. Meanwhile, at the baptismal font. Ow. No, this isn't funny. No, I think that guy's really hurt. Mike, see? Take my sample case and scram. <laughs> Ivanushka! Wait up, Shka! Nastinka! Ivan, look out! Oh, you old witch! Oh, there's pity on the poor grandma! Who will be hurt by a fool? We won't have the slightest <laughs> pity for you! I'm quite miffed at your attempted murder. <laughs> and the dog ate her. The end. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Guess not. Oh, she's really a great old gal. Ivanushka. It's over between us. Nastinka. Let's go to America and start the Brighton Beach mob. <laughs> she got a trunk and jewels, a mm -hmm. box of them, but you'll see Mahushka yeah, will get cute. two of each. Mm -hmm. <laughs> two trunks full of embroidery. I love and you, two dear. jewel cases filled with precious stuff. Oh, no, yes, dear, I love you. What do you mean, Bob? <laughs> she'll get four trunks and she'll get four jewel cases. Mm -hmm. She's just waiting for my death, honey. Sooner the better. <laughs> Look, the Johnsons have a new snowblower. And she found Fanatsky's a peasant. But Mafushka is sure to get a prince. You wait till she comes back. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm just going to nip out and kill myself here. <gasps> here they are. Mm. My babushka. Oh, I've got it on. It's Prokofiev, and this time he's pissed. Check the holes in bars of holly. Live in a Swiss colony. You know, they fight a lot, but they stay together because the sex is fantastic. Ooh. It's a three-pig open sleigh. On Wilbur, on Gordy, on Babe. Boy, they're proud, stately animals. The royal lip is on her pig. It's a Zippo family Christmas. Yes, dear, my fault. Don't hit. Uh -huh. Yes, hello. It's awfully nice to see you. Yes, you watch it, you. Where's your dowry? Here. You widget. <laughs> Counting us. And poop, gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> yes. A young Mike Nelson. Hey. <laughs> Proving again that slightly unattractive people are evil. <laughs> your pain gives us joy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will say it. I'll be quiet. Now I'll give the orders. Because the crows have taught me a valuable lesson. <laughs> huh? Let the wedding begin. And they became professional Fabergé egg imitators. 
Man, the Bulgarian Women's Chorus is a rockin' reception band. They were flanked at the reception by Pappy Yoakum and Mother Teresa. <laughs> Mother took me down seconds after I took power. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club wedding. Please enjoy the deep fried rocks. You know, you just know they're going to be dancing to Proud Mary in about an hour. Enjoy a mug of penetrating wood finish. Hey! 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 hey. Yeah, all right, until a mushroom guy moves in. <laughs> oh, hey, Servo, new dress? No, Mike, I'm really, really cute. In fact, I'm Dowling. <laughs> You're Dowling? What, wooden rods? I don't know no, what No, 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 I'm Dowling. <laughs> Dowling, he's Joe Dowling, artistic director of the Guthrie's Theater. Uh, he doesn't wear I don't dress. mean to criticize. No, 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 you stupid. It's very simple. I'm adorable. <laughs> You're endowable. Oh, I see, Mike. I think what he's trying to say is that if you and I wanted to set up an endowment, He's the guy no, to talk to. No, you stupid, loathsome freaks. I'm precious. I'm as cute as a widow budding. <laughs> oh, the widow budding. You know, Carl Budding pressed meat products. Oh, He's the widow. Oh, you and make me sick. Look, just forget it, you couple of morons. I'm cute, okay? I'm cute like that scrawny little square head in the movie, but just forget it. The whole cute thing's in the crapper. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. Oh, no. can it, will you? Man, I need a belt and a smoke. I'm starting to sweat right through the damn babushka. Oh, that's unpleasant. Oh, uh -oh. BJ and the Bear are calling. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. But you know, it's a really great ape movie. Oh, what's a really great ape movie? Every which way but loose. Now, that's a really great ape movie. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's a good movie. You know what's an even better ape movie? What's that? Any which way you can. Oh, get out. Get, get out. You, you get out. It's a better ape movie. Oh, then we'll see. I will get Mike down here. Yeah. You say, Mike, we need you down here again. Ah, yeah, good, good, good. Yeah. Okay, shh, shh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. 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 Well, okay. Well, well, get the man along there. Gotta get him along there. Here, we go. The Here you go. Buddy. Okay, Mike. Now, which is the better eight move? Every yeah, which yeah. way but loose, or any which way you can. Every which way but loose, or any way. Right. You know, I have to say, I think uh, any which way you can is a funnier movie. <laughs> But on the other hand, you know, every which way but loose is, is better made. Oh, oh, don't believe in your face. Yeah, How can you do Do you mean every which way but loose is the best ape movie? What do you know from ape movies? Snag me a brew, will ya? I guess the best ape movie. The best right, right. ape movie ever is Dunstan Checks In. Ah. End of story. Uh -huh. sure. Until next time, Nelson. Fresh pain um, away. Excuse me. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> oh. Until next time, Nelson. Fresh pain away. <laughs> Bring on my fiance. Produced in association with the Sci Fi Channel. My favorite set on Lost in Space was the Jupiter Tune. It had all sorts of working lights and gadgets. But what most people don't know is that the upper and the lower decks of the ship were actually on two different sound stages. That means that when we would take the elevator, the director would call cut. 
And then we would continue the scene all the way across the Fox lot on another soundstage, sometimes days later. That does not compute. That does not compute. It looks like our house. But it doesn't smell like our house. That looks like our mom, but... She's baking! Whoa. Too busy to bake? Perfect. Try Pillsbury's new one-step cookie. Just pop it in the oven. It even comes in its own pan. Next thing you know, you're eating a big, hot, fresh cookie. You know what this means? Yeah. Our mom bakes. Kind of scary, huh? <laughs> This film includes graphic special effects. Parental discretion is advised.